to some other sad news. It is a double tragedy for families who fled their homes due to banditry in Maringo County with the ongoing rains destroying makeshift tents in Moinonin, Baringo North that have been their homes following a series of attacks and killings in the area. And as Emily Chabet reports, the internally displaced families are staring at a health crisis with cases of malaria and symptoms of cholera reported due to poor sanitation and congestion. It is a miserable situation for internally displaced persons from Baringo North who have been putting up at Moinoin area after fleeing their homes due to the rising cases of insecurity in the northern part of the country. The residents here are staring at a looming humanitarian crisis following a heavy downpour that has been witnessed in several parts of the country. <laughs> Mothers and children have to contend with the cold weather. This is their home literally. Nowhere to lay the young soul to sleep. Nowhere to light the fire. The sorrow written all over their faces as they ponder the next move, following reports of more attacks back in their villages by bandits. <laughs> Manyumba Four locations in Baringo North Sub County are deserted, with 2,700 families displaced and 20 schools closed. And as the rains continue, the situation here could get worse with the risk of disease outbreak. Widows who lost their husbands to banditry carrying their families' burdens on their shoulders. <laughs> Following the heavy rains in different parts of the country, the Kenya National Highways Authority, Kenha, has closed the North Hor Kalacha Road. In a statement, Ken has said motorists are expected to resume using the road after an inspection and reconstruction of the damaged parts has been conducted. The National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, has cautioned the road users to be extra vigilant and reduce speed to minimize road accidents caused by slippery surfaces and poor visibility. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV.